Your car, truck, or SUV's interior can smell bad during two seasons of its life. The first could happen after several years of odor-free ownership. If you bought a used car, the second could happen right away after the transaction. In either case, the air blowing out of your car's air conditioning system smells bad, and knowing the reasons why and how to fix it can be helpful. In this short video, we hope to cover this ground on your behalf. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Types of smells. Regardless of how old your car is or whether you recently bought a used one, you might notice the following odors in it. The following six types of offensive odors are possible. 1. A mildew, musty, or vinegar odor. Or possibly an odor like a wet dog. Think of the smell of old socks or a damp t-shirt left unwashed on the basement floor for a week. 2. Rotten egg smell or engine exhaust. 3. A burning smell. 4. The smell of engine antifreeze or oil. 5. The smell of gasoline or diesel fuel. 6. Cigarette or cigar smoke odor. Be aware that some of these odors might be present in your car but not in the climate control system. This group includes smells like cigarette and cigar smoke as well as musty smells. Causes of bad smell. Mildew, musty, or vinegar smell. This odor may come from the cabin air filter, the evaporator coil of the climate control system, or the system ducts. As a result of the climate control system's removal of moisture from the air, mold or mildew growth might be aided by that moisture in a dim environment. The odor here can result from such organic growth. This condition is more likely to develop in older cars. Additionally, the car's carpet, floor mats, and upholstery may all start to smell. This can happen in any car due to excess moisture, especially in wet or chilly climates. Rotten egg or engine exhaust smell. When you first start your car, engine exhaust may enter the cabin via the CCS air inlet. When the catalytic converter is malfunctioning, the car's exhaust can have a rotten egg smell or hydrogen sulfide. The air conditioning air inlet can pick up this smell, just like it can with engine exhaust. Burning smell. Burning smells can also get inside the cabin. The climate control system inlets in front of the windshield will catch those coming from the engine area. But even smells from the area around the wheels can enter the cabin of the car. Antifreeze or oil smell. Under the hood, antifreeze or oil can leak. When this occurs, the CCS air inlets in front of the windshield can pick up the associated odors and transport them inside the vehicle. Additionally, an antifreeze leak in the AC heater coil can leave the cabin with a strong antifreeze odor. Antifreeze may be seen dripping into the right or left front footwell when a heater coil leak is present. Gasoline or diesel fuel smell. Fuel leaks at the engine, fuel lines, or tank can let gasoline or diesel odors into the car cabin. While smelling fuel outside of your car can be dangerous, smelling it inside the cabin should be a serious concern that requires immediate attention. Cigarette or cigar smell. In any car where people smoke, even occasionally, cigarette or cigar smoke odors can develop. Smoking's airborne toxins will build up on the interior surfaces of the cabin. Additionally, the odor-causing deposits may find their way into the AC ducts and coils when the climate control system is set to recirculate. How to minimize bad odors in your car. Are there any precautions we can take to lessen the likelihood that these unpleasant odors will occur before we attack and resolve them? Generally speaking, the answer is yes. If your car smells good right now, following these instructions will help it stay that way for a long time. Always run the air conditioner. When you drive, the air conditioning should always be on. Many owners turn off that system in an effort to save energy. Yes, you might save a few dollars annually, but having fresh air circulating continuously while you drive can keep the cabin dry and ventilated. And doing so will lessen the chance of mold and mildew growing inside the car and in the CCS. Park in sunny spots. Pick a spot in the sun, not the shade, when parking outside. The nemesis of mold and mildew is sunlight. Avoiding parking in shaded areas can limit the growth of these odor-causing organisms inside your car. Minimize the use of recirculation feature. When you're driving through a rural area and near a dairy farm or you need to quickly cool or warm the interior, having this feature is convenient. However, it restricts the flow of outside air into your car, which can encourage the growth of mold and mildew. Open windows. If you must smoke, open the windows to let the smoke out into the fresh air. Even though some smoke will still be absorbed by interior surfaces, the situation will worsen if there is nowhere for the smoke to escape. Dry out floor mats. If the floor mats are covered in water or snow during a rainy or snowy day, take them off and let them dry overnight. Wet mats left in the footwells of the cabin can support the growth of offensive mold and mildew. Dry mats won't be as likely to do this. Get fluid leaks fixed. When your car is left in the garage overnight, leaking antifreeze, oil, or fuel will leave a distinct odor all around it. 
When you go to start your car and notice these odors, you should have the car inspected as soon as you can by a skilled technician. Remember that fuel leaks can pose a serious fire risk. The cause of persistent exhaust smells inside the car should be determined, and the problem should be fixed. Replace your cabin air filter. If your manufacturer recommends replacing your cabin air filter on a regular basis, do so. Normally, this should be done once a year. An unseen but growing mold or mildew source may be eliminated by throwing out an old filter. You can buy new components from your dealer or from the majority of auto parts retailers. For more details about this filter and the suggested replacement schedule, consult your owner's manual. How to get rid of smells from your car air conditioner. The cabin air filter needs to be changed, and the climate control system needs to be cleaned in order to eliminate unpleasant odors from your car. Here are two popular ways to clean the CCS on your car. Use an air conditioner cleaner. The first is to use any of the many air conditioning cleaning sprays for cars that are available online or at your neighborhood parts store. The best option is probably the German-made Nexit Clima Cleaner Pro, while Armor All Fresh is a respectable value. Such specialized sprays can be used to distribute the product through the ducts and coils after being applied through the air inlet or interior duct outlets. Continually adhere to the manufacturer's instructions. Clean the evaporator coil. The second procedure necessitates a partial disassembly of your car's HVAC system in order to reveal the evaporator coil. Usually, to do this, the fan housing and fan assembly must be taken apart. The average do-it-yourselfer may not be skilled enough to complete this complicated process. But if you choose to go down this route, you can use one of the many mold, mildew removal sprays that are readily available. The exposed evaporator coil is cleaned by directly applying the cleaning solution to it, as directed by the manufacturer. To completely resolve the odor issue, either of these treatments might need several applications spread out over some time. Hope the information was helpful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.